Hey friends, welcome back. Today we're going over how to find the mean absolute deviation of a data set. So there's gonna be three simple steps. Step one, we're gonna find the mean of that data set. Step two, we're gonna subtract each number from the data set from the mean. Don't worry, there's no negative numbers because we do it in absolute value. So step three, then we're going to find the average or the mean of all of the new set of data. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Example one. So five students took a test and these are their scores. We're gonna go ahead and find the mean absolute deviation of how they did on the test. So step one, I'm gonna find the mean or the average of my numbers. So I'm gonna start by adding them all together. So when I add all of these numbers up, I'm going to get 400. But now to find the average, I need to divide by how many numbers there are. So there are one, two, three, four, five, meaning I'm going to go ahead and divide by five. Even though it looks like a fraction, that means division. So how many times does five go into 400? That's going to give us 80. So that means 80 is our mean or is our average. For my next step, I need to subtract each of these data points from 80 in order to see how far it is from the average. But I'm doing an absolute value so that way we're not worried about negative numbers. So for example, if I have 70, take away that 80, I would normally get negative 10, but because it's absolute value, it just equals 10. So that means 70 is 10 spaces away from 80, which is correct to the next data point. So I have absolute value 75, take away 80. That's going to equal five, let's do eight. If I do 80 take away 80, that equals zero. And then I do 80 take away 85, that's going to give me five. And then 90 take away 80, and that's going to equal 10. So step three, I'm taking these numbers as my new data set and finding the mean again. So let's take this data set and find the mean. That gives me 10 plus five plus zero plus five plus 10. Now, because we're finding the average, I'm going to divide all of these by how many numbers there are. One, two, three, four, five. It should be the same as the original number. Now let's add and divide. So I have 15, 15, that zero doesn't do anything. So this gives us 30 divided by five. And five goes into 30 six times. So. This is our math. So to put this in sentence form, you would just say, the average distance of each data value from mean is six. Let's go ahead and do another example. For our next example, we have six friends who ran a mile and tracked their times. We're gonna go ahead and find the mean absolute deviation of these times. Step one, I need to find the mean. So let's add it up and then divide by how many friends? Six friends. So when we add all of these up, when we add all these up, we're going to get 51.9. Now there are six numbers, so we're going to divide that by six. This is going to give us 8.65. And now that I've found our average or our mean, I'm gonna go ahead and subtract each data point from our mean to see the full distance of how far apart they are. So by subtracting each number from the mean, I'm finding out how far they are from each other. So here's my new numbers, 0 0.45, 0 0.85, 0 0.85, 0 0.25, 0 0.45, 0 0.25. I'm gonna put those together and find the mean of those numbers. 0 0.45 plus 0 0.85 plus 0.85 plus 0.25 plus 0.25 plus 0.25. Four, five. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I started with six. So from here, I have all six numbers. I know that I have them all because I started with six. Now I'm gonna add those up, but I'm still going to divide by six. So I have 3.10, but then I need to divide it by six because it's that six right there. 5.16 repeating. Okay, so that means I have 0.516. Now I am going to round that to just be 0.52. So what this means is that each runner, their time was about 0.52 minutes away 
from the average of 8.65 as a whole. Alrighty, so that's your quick review of Mean Absolute Deviation. If you liked the video or found it helpful, please give a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.